Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you energy band diagram of PN junction. See, to understand PN junction energy band diagram, first you need to understand how energy band diagram that is there with pure semiconductor material, with n-type semiconductor material and with p-type semiconductor material. So, first I will explain you energy band diagram of pure semiconductor material. So, here if you observe, we are having energy band diagram of pure semiconductor material in which this is conduction band bottom edge of this conduction band that is having energy EC. This is valence band top edge of this valence band that is having energy EV. And if you observe this middle line that is having energy EI for pure semiconductor material Fermi energy level that is also EI which is there at middle of EC and EV. So, almost Fermi energy over here with pure semiconductor that will be EC plus EV by 2, right. Now, in pure semiconductor material, if you add travel and impurities, then you will be making P-type semiconductor and in pure semiconductor, if you add pentavalent impurities, then you will be making N-type semiconductor. Now, by adding travel and impurities, we will be making P-type semiconductor. So, in P-type semiconductor, here if you observe this Fermi energy level, that is getting shifted towards this side, you see. It is getting shifted towards this side, right. So, EPF, that is Fermi energy of P-type. So, that is getting shifted from EI to EPF compared to pure, right. So, here if you want to understand how much shifting is happening. So, that will be as per EI minus EPF, right. So, for P-type semiconductor, for P-type semiconductor, we are having energy shifting, right. And that will be how much? EI minus EPF, that will be KT into LN of See here with P type we are adding pentavalent uh, trivalent impurities. So that is having concentration P divided by Ni which is intrinsic concentration. Right. So that is this EI minus EPF. Now by adding pentavalent impurities in pure we will be making N type. So in N type if you observe Fermi energy level that is getting shifted over this side. Right. That is getting shifted towards conduction band. And if you want to calculate how much shifting is happening, then here for N type, we can calculate that. How? See, ENF, that is Fermi energy of N type. So, ENF minus EI, that much shifting is happening. So, ENF minus EI, that is KT of LN and concentration of n type that is n means here electron concentration that is n in n type divided by intrinsic concentration right so that is how we can identify shifting in energy due to doping over here right so with p type fermi energy level that is getting shifted towards valence band with n type fermi energy level that is getting shifted towards conduction band Right, that is how shifting is happening and how much shifting is happening that even I have explained you over here and that is what I have already explained that in my earlier videos of first chapter in this lecture series as well. Right, now we need to understand how we can have energy band diagram for PN junction, right, for PN junction. So, let us try to understand that. See, PN junction explanation that I have explained that in my last video. So, in that I have told you when you diffuse P type and N type material together at that time at junction there will be formation of ions. At P type side we are having negative ions and at N type side we are having positive ions. And because of these ions, because of these ions there is a formation of potential barrier and there will be electric field in this direction, right. And this region that is referred as depletion region or you can say space charge region. Now, let us try to understand 
how pn junction energy band diagram is there so if you observe up to this point up to this point there are p type section only right here there is no ions in this section and up to this section if you observe if you observe so this is n type in which there are no ions over here we are having positive ions over here we are having negative ions at the junction right that is how the basic consideration is there now here see as i have explained you in p type what happens in p type if i say this is my conduction ec energy conduction band energy and this is my valence band energy then fermi energy level fermi energy level that will be there which is nearer to valence band you see with p type with p type fermi energy that is nearer to valence band this is ev right so fermi energy is nearer to valence band so that is how it is available over here and over here if you observe this is n type so in that fermi energy that is nearer to conduction band you see it is nearer to conduction band right now you might be thinking like here why there is a band in this energy band so that band is coming because of this electric field as electric field is there in this direction this band this band that is getting tilted like this this band is getting tilted like this right so you should know in energy band diagram always energy that is getting plotted with respect to electrons so here positive electric field is there means energy of electron will go down so at this side energy of electron will go down at this side energy of electron will go up as here negative ions are there right so negative ions will lift energy of electron positive ion that will make energy of electron down so that's why this slope is happening like this right now you might be thinking like i have drawn this slope directly like this but practically it will be bit curve over here practically it will be bit curve over here right but for simplicity of calculation and all those things i am just drawing it like this right now here if you observe see this fermi energy level this fermi energy level that is that is constant throughout this pn junction energy band diagram now you might be thinking like how it could be constant see fermi energy level that will be constant why the reason is here in this pn junction there is no flow of current now why there is no flow of current see if you observe here we are having potential barrier so potential barrier that will not allow flow of holes from this side to this side and this n type is having electrons that is also not allowed to get flow over this side why the reason is holes of p type that is getting repelled by positive ions and electrons of n type that is getting repelled by this negative ion but there are few other things also that is happening let me explain you that what is that which is happening over here see here we are having positive ions and we are we are having negative ions so that is resulting into potential barrier but here if you observe we are having p type material over here so density of holes if i say density of holes which is rho p over here and here density of holes that will be rho p dash right so density of holes if i say that is concentration let us say concentration of holes that is p and concentration of holes that is p dash over here so obviously p is greater than p dash so concentration gradient is happening and as concentration gradient is happening what you can say because of concentration gradient there will be diffusion current so diffusion current due to holes that will happen in this direction means diffusion of holes will happen in this direction so holes direction will be direction of current if you talk about n type is having concentration n right of electrons and with p type electron concentration is n dash so obviously 
कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एन दैट इज वे ग्रेटर कंपेयर टू कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एन डैश सो इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी फ्लोइंग इन दिस डिरेक्शन एज पर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट राइट दैट इज रिफर्ड एज डिफ्यूजन करंट सो प्रैक्टिकली डिफ्यूजन करंट दैट इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ग्रेडियंट एंड डिफ्यूजन करंट डायरेक्शन इफ आई से दैट इज देर इन दिस डिरेक्शन जे डिफ्यूजन राइट देन वी आर सेइंग लाइक देर इज नो फ्लो ऑफ करंट सी डिफ्यूजन करंट इज हैपनिंग बट अलॉन्ग विद दैट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी आर हैविंग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड देर विल बी ड्रिफ्ट करंट इन दिस डिरेक्शन देर विल बी ड्रिफ्ट करंट इन दिस डिरेक्शन so this diffusion current and drift current both are equal over here and as both are equal they will be cancelling each other and as they are cancelling each other there is no net current flow in this pn junction and here we are talking about this pn junction under no bias condition right so there is no flow of current over here see diffusion current that is happening because of concentration gradient here with p type holes concentration is more compared to n type and with n type electron concentration is more compared to p type so holes will be moving in this direction electrons will be moving in this direction so because of this concentration gradient diffusion current will flow in this direction but due to electric field drift current will flow in this direction both are equal so they will be cancelling each other that's why there is no net flow of current but as electric field is there in this direction this energy band that is getting tilted like this right now one more essential thing that i would like to explain you see here if you observe this energy band that is getting tilted due to this space charge region and if you want to calculate how much tilt is happening then obviously with this yellow color line you can understand this see if i say due to p type due to p type at junction how much tilt is happening so let us say that is e1 and due to n type how much tilt is happening let us say that is e2 so total tilt will be over here total band will be total energy e that will be e1 plus e2 right now if you observe i have explained that how much e1 is there e1 is this much e1 for p type that will be this much and e2 for n type that will be this much right and that i have explained you how to calculate this so same thing that we need to substitute over here right so see this is e1 and this is e2 that you can directly say based on this fermi to ei difference this fermi to ei difference right so here we can say say this e1 that is kt ln into p divided by ni and if i say e2 that is kt ln n divided by ni so here kt is common and in ln this will get multiplied so pn divided by n i square right that is how energy bending is happening over here now this total energy shift due to pn junction that plays very essential role by using this we can calculate cut in voltage or you can say potential barrier see due to this pn junction there is a potential barrier over here which results into electric field in this direction so how much potential barrier is there that i'm going to explain you in my next video in which i'll, I'll derive how much cut in voltage is happening for pn junction and cut in voltage is also referred as potential barrier if you want to share anything please note down that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video